Good morning. <laughs> Welcome in. How's everybody doing? Alright, let's get into this. I didn't have the music going beforehand. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turn the light on. Try and get comfy. We can skip the pre log story or prologue, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. All right. Um, we left off with all the fighting and all that fun stuff. Um. With chapter 3, we still have a few more fights to go through. Um. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Alright, let's get into it. I think we have three or four more fights. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. I'll have to look into it. Um, we were on our way somewhere. Dragon! Good morning. Oh, we um, just got out of the D -D 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 storage room, so we just came into here, and then I saved, and then I was in the process of doing something else. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to find the blue key. Children, well, child. The other one's in school. <laughs> uh, well, your shirt's on inside out, buddy. Alright, um, we still have one stuck in the bathroom, I think. Yep. Alright, let's do a ranked match to start. Uh, fix him for a fight. Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked three in the Glitz Pits. Hama, Bama, and Flair. Now listen, in this battle, I want you to win before you take 20 HP of pain. Our fans don't want to see a battered hero win by the skin of his teeth. Okay, so we gotta make sure we don't lose 20 HP. I need FP! Hang on, quick little nap. I forgot to re up on all my uh, stuff. There we go. How's everybody's morning this morning? Hopefully, it's good. It's still like early, so it's hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bad Brute Bros. Yep, a fight to the finish with Hama, Bama, and Flair. Alrighty. My grandpappy's hammer is gonna strike you down. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle. Lady! Good morning. When we're taking 20 HP of damage. Okay, what items do we got? Multi bounce. Hopefully, I get time this right. <gasps> they didn't get knocked over. What? Mini egg. Tiny attack power... Tiny attack power has now dropped. No! Uh, 
All right, we got rid of two of them. Woohoo! Ah, shit. Okay, we only lost a few. Um... Power smash. We did it! Yay! We got ourselves a winner! Here's your fight money of 22 coins. Yay! Mario's ranking rose to 3. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. And if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Alright. Oh, email. This is your last warning. Stop snooping around about the crystal star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as the others who have gone missing. This guy really needs to take a chill pill. He sure knows a lot, though. He's going on about the crystal star, the missing fighters, all that stuff. I tell you what, we find this guy, we'll have all the answers we need. But who is this psycho? Still can't? My god. Um, take a quick little nap. Skip all that. Um, welcome to the automated match uh, view rankings. Alright, so we're against some chain chomps next. So that will be fun. <laughs> Fix him for a fight. Your next opponent will be rank two, chomp country. Now listen, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. Well, that's okay, because jumping doesn't work against chain chomps anyways. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez, another gift arrived from one of your admirers. I'll just leave it over here if that's okay. Do it with. Ooh, cake! Whoa, free cake is where it's at. Let's chat out. Um, do we eat the cake? Yeah. Now that is the cake. Give me two seconds here. There's some left for you. <gasps> no! What the heck? I'm going numb, dude. <laughs> it's time for your next match. Come with me. No! This completely stinks. Can't move, man. I shouldn't have eaten the cake. Your partner's been paralyzed by a cake? Tough luck, we gotta go. The house is packed. Come on, follow me. Please tell me I can pick another partner. Oh, of course, the red chain jumps. I love that. Do, 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 do. The red or fear orbs. Yep, a fight to the finish with Chomp Country. Caitlin! Good morning. Whoa, hold the phone, folks. What in tarnation is going on here? Greg Gonzalez is flying solo this time. How's he gonna survive all alone? Get yourselves ready to battle. Don't use your jump. Okay. Super hammer. Kara. 
items. Oops. A storm. It didn't work. Oh no, I'm gonna die here. Try this, I don't know. Nah, I got farther that time. upsetting Here's your fight money of one coin. Sorry, um, Discord is blowing up. <laughs> your rank will remain at three because you lost the match. And if you'll excuse me, I must be going. What happened to Yoshi? Man, I'm sorry. Making you fight all alone, of course you get schooled. Hey, but I'm back of the game. I feel great. I'm ready to rock and roll. Still a poisoned cake. Someone wanted to toast us. We better watch our fronts and backs from now on. Oh, right. I need a nappy nap. Get out of the way! People are in my way. Skip. Alright. We're full up except for uh, star points. Can it, like, not be occupied? That'd be great. Um, I want to hit the save button real quick. Even though I don't have to like restart the game whenever I die in this chapter, which is great actually. My favorite uh, part of this game so far is that if you die, you don't have to like go back to your last save. All right, Chomp Country. Sound good. Good morning. Crowd loves your partner, so get him. Let them do the fighting instead. Give the people what they want. So what does Yoshi have to do? All the fighting himself. I wasn't really paying attention to what the conditions were. <laughs> Alright, skip all that. Only let your partner damage your opponent. Okay, so yep. Yoshi's gotta do all the fighting. Poor Yoshi. Uh, 
Um, let's see here. We'll appeal. Try and get some more star points. Attack and gulp. Yay! We won! We got ourselves a winner. How'd that floor taste? I don't know why he always says that. But he does. Here's your fight money of 24 coins. Yay! Alright, his ranking rose to two. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Alright, let's go take a nappy nap for Yoshi. Skippy skip skip. So we're going to be fighting this spiky guy, I believe, next. Yes. So the purple spiky dude is who we're fighting now. Your next opponent will be ranked number one in the Glitz Pit, the Copenator. Now listen, son, in this battle I want you to avoid swapping partners out. Gotta go with who you brung. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty good. So. That's why he's named Kicker. <laughs> I was gonna name him, like, Butt Kicker, but there wasn't enough characters allowed. <laughs> It was too long of a name. For your next battle, we got the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been... The Razor Blade, Brigader. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Koopanator. You finally get a piece... I get... You, finally, I get a piece of you. Finally, we'll see who's truly stronger. Get ready. Get yourselves ready to battle. Words are hard this morning. <laughs> I swear I'm awake. Kind of. I don't know. Alright. Let's see here. Power smash. No, I blocked too early. Power smash. Yay! 
did it. I'm almost at a flower point again. <laughs> Ow. Here's your fight money of 30 coins. How's sound volume, by the way? I forget to ask every once in a while. Mario's ranking rose to one. Your rank went up because you met the conditions. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Always. It's always trying to disappear on me. Ooh, mail call. You think it's from our pal or the guy who hates us? Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby from X. From X this time, huh? That guy still sounds like a real piece of work. But hey, he's all we got. What do you want? What's he want us to do again? Peel off your posters in the lobby? Sounds good to me. Let's hit the lobby. All right, first let's hit up the bed for flower points. Skippity skip skip. All right, we'll hit the save button since we're right there. That's a lot of posters. Um, let's switch to flurry. Posters? <gasps> Blue key! Open. Go to the second floor of the storage room. We'll go back to Kicker. Ooh, and then we go find the storage room. Save while we're on our way. Here's the storage room. Storage key. And then open. You gotta be kidding me! Bandy Andy and King K? Gonzalez? Listen to me. Don't get near the ring when no one is around. Come on, shake it off, buddy. What do you mean? Don't go near the ring.
Gonzalez, you see that? That was Jolene. This is craziness. What is going on in here? Where'd she go? She disappeared. Well, we found two of the missing people, I guess. Kings. So now we just have Rockhawk left to fight. Let's try it! <sighs> Great, Gonzalez, howdy, fixing for a fight. Well, guess what? Your next match is the title match. You're up against the champ. Now I want to see a fair and exciting match, so don't you let me down. In this battle, there are no conditions. You fight that champ with every trick and technique you've got. Now get in there and win yourself a championship. <laughs> it's time for your next match. Alright. The big fight. Who's excited? Hold on, dude. Where are you heading? That ain't the way to the arena. Yeah, uh, you go this way this time because it's a special match. I don't believe that for a second. Hey, hold it, meathead. This doesn't seem right. Two way here. Why are we in the minor league uh, thing? Hey, this ain't the ring. It's a minor league locker room, and it's empty. The guys had to wait, but dude, we're missing our title boat. This stinks. Now for today's main event, the top dog of the major league, the Great Gonzalez. He's finally going to throw down with the champ, the one, the only Rockhawk. First to enter the ring, the Golden Grandstand, or Rockhawk. How you feeling? Your challenger's a handful. You don't want a handful of this. There's only one champ and it's me. Even if this Gonzalez was ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. The great Gonzalez made it to the top of the majors faster than anyone ever. He even got up there faster than you did, champ. What you got to say about that? What do I have to say? That's what. Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Because now he gets rocked. Okay, that's it. Nobody's coming for us, man. Hear me? Let's go kick some tail. Some punk- Some punks locked us in. We're trapped in here. Uh-oh. Now for our challenger, the merciless, merciless executioner, the great Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hey is going on? What happened to the great Gonzalez? I'll tell you what happened. He fears the rock. What a stoop fry in development, folks. Did the great Gonzalez really turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? Tell you what, folks, if he don't show soon, he's gonna forfeit the match. Oh no! What are we gonna do? 
Man, this is the worst. We're gonna forfeit our match if we don't show. We gotta break out of here, man, right now. <gasps> Flurry. There might be badges in here. Or items. Ooh, a coin. Another coin. And another coin. That's the same locker I opened. Flurry, you're in the way. I opened up the lockers. That's all I needed. Alright, so this is the major locker room. Ooh! A life mushroom! Rats locked, they thought of everything. Into the toilet we go! So much respect for plumbers now. Hey, this is the major league locker room. Let's get Rock Hawk. Please tell me this is the right door. The moment you've been waiting for, folks, the great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Looks like we made it, dude, and the crowd is loving us. We are stars, baby. Come on, let's go lay the smack down on that big chicken. Just listen to the crowd hoot and holler for the challenger, great Gonzalez. Will his hammer of hurt? Hurt and harm be enough to rock the rock hawk socks. Now look at long last the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle. You fighting the champ, I'm so fired up. You wimps should have stayed locked up, safe and sound. What kind of trash talking are you doing now? Wait, did you get that security guard to lock us in that locker room? You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the coward who's been sending nasty emails about the crystal star. Huh? I have no idea what you're babbling about now. What's a crystal star? No wait, I don't care. I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills. And now you're about to meet them all. Prepare to be rocked. Alrighty. No, it didn't work. Oh. 
Not too shabby, you're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swallowed. Your head swelled though, cause you've got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock. Ouch. Alright, let's try this. Hammer does better power than that. You're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? Should have just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I guess I got no choice but to. Ouch. That kind of hurt. Get this going. Dang it! Again? We got a bit of health, I guess. We knocked him down. I've only just begun. Undefeated master, I've lost to such losers. We did it. Folks, I feel like my eyes just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. Technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely, the most legendary, amazing, improbable, history, history-making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the Grey Gonzalez. Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. You got a 
champ's belt. Give him a hand, folks. The new Glitz Pit champ, the Great Gonzalez. Yay, we won! We still haven't found the real Crystal Star, though. So we gotta go find that. Well, you finally did it, son. Today is your first day as the new champ. Jolene, hand him the fight money. Here's your fight money of 100 coins. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez there, the champion's room. Okay? Absolutely, sir. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? I don't trust following her. I don't trust her. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your room now, so make yourselves at home. You will use the terminal as you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. Yeah, 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 yeah. We finally made it, Gonzalez, but... You know, Rockhawk really sounded clueless about the Crystal Star. We still don't have any leads on that thing. I mean, where the heck could it be? Hang on, Gonzalez, you hear that? A voice is coming from somewhere. You think it's a ghost? Hey, do you have to have that thing turned up? That scared me silly. Discover the true nature of the ghost. There's actually a ghost? Okay, that is not cool. Ghosts are scary. Yes, we'll rest. We need the rest anyways. Alright. <laughs> Did it. Oh, we're in this one now. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Well, that's in perfect condition as usual. Yep, as long as I got that baby working for me. This old boy ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a little bit. First I let that King K idiot walk in on me when I was with that. Now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are onto me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when it, the time comes. I'll just disappear. Yep, just like I did to them others, like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That voice, that's Grubba. So he's behind all those missing fighters? Better lock this room up tighter than a peanut butter jar at a squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper relation to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what, though? Since I'm thinking aloud here, good fighters ain't nothing to miss. mess with. Even Rockhawk got lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon for my sake. Don't know if I should, like, break down the thing. Yeah, screw it. I'll break it down.
I think he's gone. Let's check out that desk drawer of his. Oh, bingo, I bet that's the paper old grub ahead. Check it out, Gonzalez. Machine under the ring using a crystal star. These are the blueprints. I don't know what the rest of this nerd talk says, but I think the crystal star powers it. If this paper's right, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Yuck. Oh crud, you think that King K and Bandy Andy got all drained or something? Great galleon gallops. How in tarnation did you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're starting staring at my secret paper, too. Shut up, you make me sick. Why you drain King K and Bandy Andy, huh? Oh, Nelly, this ain't good. Annie's a running. Let me open the other desk drawer. Ooh, star piece. Gotta check everything. And another star piece. I don't know what star pieces do, but I'll figure it out later. Save. No one's around and we're going to the ring. Oh no. I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack-jawed idiots sniffling around my business. Now that you know my big secret, I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little old dirt nap. That's the crystal star, right? How do you like my machine? Pretty dang nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. You darn tootin' and know why? Because it keeps my bod forever young. You are such a scumbag, you're gonna pay for using a crystal star like that. Oh, just shut your traps now, I'll use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. Muscle up. <laughs> Macho Grubba. Grubba beefed up. I'm gonna smush you guys into guacamole and snack on your energy too. Ooh. Boss fight time! Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little pieces of prairie peripheral? Peripheral? I don't know. So long as I have this here machine, my bod be rough, tough, and ultra buff. It's Rock Gonzalez. I'm ready to chew this dude up and spit him out. Can't play the fight. Go figure. Attack power has now dropped. More chances to attack are now available. Uh oh. Alrighty, let's see here. Go, 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 go. 
Keep it spicy, you know I love a good tussle. Keep on scrapping. Of course it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. Defense is boosted. Ah, I blocked too early. It's okay. Alright. Let's get this Earth Tremor. Hopefully. Dang it! Attack is boosted. <laughs> I keep blocking too early. And now he's huge again. Not too shabby, you get showmanship and that's gold in this biz. But this here battle is just getting started, it's time to show you some real moves. Back in the day I had so many rump kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. Charged attack power is now boosted. What items do we got? Nothing useful. And get some more flower points. No, I freaking hit the poison mushroom. Again? Chances to attack are now available. I ain't finished yet. Ain't over till it's over. That's the way it goes in combat sports. Let me tell you something. Fortune's gonna smile on me in the end. He's looking a little tired.
We won! Hundred bonus coins. And we get a level up. <laughs> HP, flower points, or badge points. Ooh. We'll go with health. We always use health. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. Ooh, nice. How did this happen? How could a perfect bod like mine lose to such a slub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Mr. Champion. No, I mean Mario. Please allow me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Jolene. I really have to apologize. I am so sorry that I had to get you involved. But you must understand I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired out on as a manager and investigated in secret. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. So our ex-buddy was... Correct, it was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only one who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion, Prince Mush. Prince Mush, he, he discovered the secret of my power-sucking machine. I had him disappear. Any which way you look at it, he ain't around these parts no more. I suspected as much. Poor sweet mush. Boy, I thought she was kind of mean, but turns out she was just worried for her brother. Wow, check it out. Gonzalez the Crystal Star. Why do they look like twins? Oh, is this- am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? I- I was- I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over, finally. Is that what crystal stars can do? Now, Mario, the crystal star is yours. Whoa, are you sure? It's okay if we just take it? It's better that you have it so it that nothing like this will ever happen again. It's all you, Gonzalez. Nab it, dude. Oh yeah. You got a crystal star! Your star power is now four, and Mario learned the special move power lift. Weird. Let's feel seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place, seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third crystal star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the crystal star to ruin 
outrun his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mythic mystical items possess? Ooh, we're back to Pe Princess Peach. Hang on. There we go. I didn't do I just I was sitting. Beldam? <laughs> Tell me what good are you? You still haven't taken care of that Mario character. Well, yes, sorry, but only because he's tougher than we thought at first. You do understand that we ex nots must open the thousand year door first, do you not? Well, rest assured that I will definitely nail him next time. We have prepared a weapon that will bring him to a quick and certain end. I trust your words, though I rapidly lose my patience. Just leave it to us, sire. Let's away, my lovelies. <laughs> oh, sleepy. No doubt about it, I'm officially bored. Those awful X things haven't been back to ask about the map. Maybe they don't care about it anymore. Oh my, that must be tech again. And now all the yawning starts. Hello, Princess Beach. You always call me in without warning, Tech. What is it this time? I apologize. I would like you to go to where Sir Grudus is and ask him something. What? What do you mean, go ask? I recently obtained specific information that brought an issue to my attention. You are the main computer here, right? Why is there anything you don't know? I am unable to know things that are not entered in my CPU or otherwise recorded. That is why I want to know what Sir Grudas is thinking about this issue. But even if I try to go see him, they'll catch me and send me back to the room. That is true, but you will find a soldier's room one floor up. Take the elevator. Once there, please obtain a soldier's uniform and change into it, avoiding detection. You will go see Sir Grudas looking like a soldier. You mean I'll be disguised? And imagine you won't take no for an answer, will you? You imagine correctly. <laughs> Alright, fine, I guess. Well, so what do you want me to go ask Grudas? I want you to ask. Oh, so it's not even going to tell us? Why in the world would Tech want me to go ask about that? He sure is a weird computer. Oh, is this the elevator he wanted me to go in? Please wait a moment, there is currently a soldier in vicinity. Now Princess Peach, after leaving the elevator, head to the right. It is the room nearby with the green lamp. Please change here quickly. The soldier's uniform should be in a locker. Is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. I don't know about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. 
Fancy P. Welcome in. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe though. I bet I look perfect. Princess Peach is now a uh, X knot. Excuse me, Sir Grutus. Yes, what is it? Speak. Well, it's about Princess Peach. What do you plan to do with her going forward? Something is wrong with your voice, x not. Perhaps I have a throat lozenge? No, well, never mind. Oh, about Princess Peach? I have no interest in what that woman has to say. Just keep her locked in the room. But don't ever, ever treat her roughly. You understand? Tell the others as well. Why in the world are we keeping her here, then? That is none of your business. Don't forget your place, you intrubent worm. Can concentrate on getting that crystal... On getting the crystal stars. That is all I require of you. We x need the legendary treasure to conquer the world. Don't forget it. What are you blathering about now? Something is odd about you. No, nothing odd. So, Roger, or whatever, please excuse me. That was unnerving. All that stuff about conquering the world? Talk about creepy. Wonder if that has anything to do with collecting those crystal stars. Well, duh. Off with this thing. Do, do, do. Good old pink dress, my favorite. Why would I ever wear anything different? I'd better get back quickly. Do, 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 do. Tech, you terrible machine. So your goal is to conquer the world, is it? Of course, after all, I was built for that purpose. Conquering the world, how could you? Princess Peach, allow me to ask you something. Do you like the world you live in? There are many problems in the world, many sorrows. Do you like such a world? Of course I do. Nobody likes everything about the world, but I love the good parts. There are many sorrows, sure, but there are is also joy. Is that so? Tell me, will the crystal stars help you conquer the world? And what's this treasure? I am afraid I cannot answer. Answering those questions is prohibited by Sir Grutus. Well, but... Oh, never mind. I must at least inform Mario about this awful plan for world domination. Tech, let me use your communicator. I suppose I can allow that. Please use the communicator. Send it this instant. The message has been sent. Well then, Princess Peach, you have had a busy day. Go back to the room, please. Good night, Princess Beach. And now we're back to Bowser. Yay. That thing's humongous. Everybody hide now. Save yourselves. Who would have thought that fool Mario would be in Glitzville of all places? Did you say something here, rudeness? Oh uh, no, nothing at all, as far as you know. Hey, did you see those little bite-sized shrimps? What were those things? Those were some... P 
punies, one of them should know about the crystal star. They fear you, so they're all hiding. Let's find them all and force them to tell us about the crystal star. This guy is a big and bad. He's large and in charge. You're scary, Mr. Giant Bad Breath Monster. Don't worry. Your big brother is here. We'll get through this. Be gone! You're one of them, aren't you? One of the evildoers you want our crystal star. See, I knew it. This ugly thing knows where the crystal star is. Tell us. How rude. Ugly thing, how dare you, you wretched crone. I am the great puny, puny elder. I'm bad at words. My heart, don't startle me like that. I'm too old for this stuff. Too old. Uh, yes, Lord Bowser, you look as if you're just dying to say something. Nope, nothing. Let's move on, shall we? You elder hag thing. Where's the crystal star? And don't try pulling rank again. Your answer, not your age, will determine your fate. Hag thing, honestly. In any case, you're too late. The crystal star is gone. What? That's right, you, you rude thing. We gave it to the, a mustachioed man named Mardio. Said he was collecting the crystal stars to rescue some princess. What did he call her? Princess Pinch? Yep, he was off to save that lucky laugh. It's Mario, not Mardio, and it's not Princess Pinch. Her name is Princess Peach. But your senility, senility, I guess, I don't know is beside the point. The princess and the crystal stars must be connected. Mario's trying to get it all. Treasures, princesses, does his greed never end? That jackal, both Princess Peach and the crystal stars belong to me. To me. If I find him, I'm going to finish him off once and for all, I swear it. I mean, you tried that earlier, but you failed, so. So now you must leave. I understand. If you must, you must. We won't delay you. I hope you succeed in finding the rest of the crystal stars. Good luck. Gonzalez, I want to tell you, Rockhawk ain't gonna fight dirty anymore. I'm gonna hit some weights, take some vitamins, and win the title fair and square. And I'm never ever gonna lose again. Remember when my frocks you rock back. Listen, G-Money, thanks for everything, man. You're the nicest dude I've ever met. And if I ever need it, I've got your back. Me, I think I'm going to chill here and improve my skills. King K's back, baby. And that's all thanks to you. You're my boy, Mario. Now that Grub is out of the picture, I'm going to take over running the Glitz Pits. If you ever decide to return to the ring, just come back. I'll keep your spot open. You have tons of fans, and they'd absolutely love if you made a comeback. Anyway, think it over, okay? And travel safe. Do -do 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 -do. Woo! Sweet, another crystal star. That's three, right? We better roll back to Rogueport, don't you think? Alright, let's hit the save button. Next cheap blimp is bound for the tone of town of Rogueport. Everything looks in order, and then we can skip all this. Alright, we're in Rogueport. Time to go put the star on the map thingy. Oh. 
You got an email. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x knots they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the crystal stars and trying to claim a legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and gather the crystal stars. I will gather what information I can. Princess Beach. Those dudes want to rule the world? That would stink. Alright. Oh, look. Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plumberry Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one, I'll tell you what. It was a pretty wild bro, wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Uh, if you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come find me. I, I guess I'm Jerry, I'm a bomb from Plum Belly Village. Nice meeting you. Sorry I sound so down, but you would be too if you'd seen Luigi's big bridal stunt show. He's so clumsy in heels. He was like a wobbly force of nature, falling down everywhere, knocking things over, tumbling into people. Now I have an obligation to tag along and clear the area of Luigi so much as glances at us to let it. Somebody has to be the herald of the coming wobbly apocalypse. That's why I'm sticking close to this guy. I want a bomb, friend. Where can I get mine? <laughs> trying to like sit comfortably in my chair. It's not working though. Do, 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 do. Um, let's enter here. Ow. Real Kino with the hype. How you doing this morning? Shine Sprite! Dragon. <laughs> Frozen movement will be impossible for a while. Ooh. I just realized we got a different stage. Tam. Tam, my friend, I got you. Thank you. Any fun, exciting plans for today? Okay, so that's where I come out. Kill. Cool. Good to know. Sleep. Yeah, I don't think I'm getting much sleep. Oh, I just got out of work. Nice. Well, 
don't know about like nice nice, but you know. Good that you're no longer at work, I guess. No, I got hit. And I blocked too early. Um, super hammer. What's with the fog? I'm going to get tiny pieces of star points. I want like a bunch of star points. I want up there! How do I get up there? Alright, through this pipe I guess. Dang it! Blacked it. Ooh, sleepy sheep. Dang it, I did not mean to go down there. I wanted to go back to the other one, like through the door. Actually, can I just like slide through here? That makes it so much easier. Open the door. Dang it, I didn't want the pipe. I wanted the other door. <laughs> you know, just getting lost. Per usual. This pipe, don't I? <gasps> Yay, there's derpies. I'll check that out in a minute. I didn't use the right thingy. The right uh, stick.
Coin, thank you. So now it's just an easier way of getting through this door. Yay! Three stars in. Only four more to go. Where are we off to now? Ooh, a haunted woods. Lovely. The location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. Guests will have to show this to that Frankly guy. But first, we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh, yeah. Alright, up to the professor's house. What? <laughs> the group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on total world conquest. You got that right. That's why those jerks needed that legendary treasure. This doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held to what I thought was a preposterous theory. This book claimed that the treasure was, in actuality, the Great Cataclysm. The very cataclysm that, a thousand years ago, sank that town underground. So these jerks will... The, so these jerks think the power of that cataclysm will help them rule the world? Can't say for sure what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do it again, then once again this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. And out with it, Prof. We gotta find that next crystal star super quick. According to the map, it appears to... It appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself, only rumors. I've heard that, as the name implies, it's perpetually dim and, it, and eerie there. Wait just a moment. There appears to be a pipe to Twilight Town somewhere here in Rogue Port. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west part of town. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again. Under the ground in the west part of town. Check that chip off. Come on, Gonzalez, let's go. Time to break out. Found a piece of paper with info about Hooktail on it, so you added it to your tail log. Bedlam. Vivian Bowser. Macho Grabba. There we go. Alright, we got a bunch of tablet log entries. Dear Mario and Coops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Coops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely and I go into Coops' house and I smell that Coops' smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Coopley. He has his own smell and it's weird. I think maybe it's the smell of Hooktail's gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's gonna be my dad too someday, I'd better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. Hee hee hee. 
Rogueport today. It's time. It's come to light that after settling into life at her inn, Toadsworth has often been spotted in the company of Zesty, the notorious finicky Zesty. Surprised all when we heard saying, when she heard saying, "What's wrong with spending time with my little toodle, total toes?" All right, that's a bunch of random mail that we don't need. Spam mail, even in video games. I love it. Or not spam mail, but like junk mail. Um, let's go take a little nappy nap. Nappy nap. I use my in coupon. Skip. Okay. Um. Check out the item shop. What is this? Tasty tonic. A tasty medicine cures poison and other ailments. This is Bowser one. Fright mask. Summons a scary spirit that may chase enemies away. Ooh, cool. Let's buy a fire flower. We get the money, so we can buy a couple of them. We'll buy one more. There we go. Alright, let's go check out the west side shop, see what they get. They might have some different stuff. Could use another power block or two. They're always good to have. No. Power block. But Thunderbolt. It's also good. We'll buy two of them. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, it's helpful. This is a lottery. I mean, we have some money. I want a ticket. Mm. Thanks for your business. Now here's your lottery ticket. You got a lottery ticket. The lottery ticket from Lucky's Booth. Your number is 2546. Use the same numbers until you win the jackpot. Play... Lucky and happy. Two, five, four, six. Happy lottery board. Today's winning number is five, one, two, one. Ooh, a mushroom. Alright. Ooh, a star piece. Wait, hang on. I think I need to go under the... Alright, into here we go. No! I failed! Do, 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 do. 
slowly collecting star points again. What's with the tape? Gonna take a couple of tries. There we go. Maybe not. Star piece. Yeah, I'm trying to get all the way back without falling. We did it. And yeah, what's this door? Twilight Town. We actually found it pretty quick. Pipe rejected you. What gives you, lousy pipe? You've got to tell the, you've got to tell the professor about this. I know it's not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it anyways. Yay! Hit the safe blocks right here. Yeah. Alright, back to the east side of town, I guess. Quick little drink. Found your pipe and the things all stopped up. We tried and tried, but we can't break it through it. Got any drain cleaner? You can't get through the pipe, you say. How odd. Mm, I'm afraid I haven't the foggiest idea of what you should do. Of course. I've heard that the fellow from Twilight Town lives here in Rogue Port. If anybody knows how to get through that pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Oh yes, the lover of dark places. Darkly. I've seen him loitering around here in the, this part of town in the past. Ah, I remember him from like three days ago-ish. 
around here. There he is. <laughs> Hi there, my name's Darkly. I'm from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Oh, you can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town. Well, shucks. It's usually no sweat. You just need to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No, really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay, I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. Mario. There, perfect. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. Marilyn! Good morning. Kicker. Hey, watch where you're drawn, buddy. I don't know what Aaron is talking, taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. So now we got Mario written on the butt of our pants. And Kicker's got Kicker written on the butt of his pants. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't jump properly. So I gotta do it again. How's everybody doing? the discord oh I've been seeing chapter four for pigs the bell tolls Ooh, mysterious I haven't like caught up on like the emergencies channel yet but like I've seen some of it I've just been busy so <laughs> this place gives me the creeps is this Twilight Town Hey, it's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from a far away? Yeah, those clothes of yours, I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers? Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear and scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again. This is so awful. Who could be it? Who could it be now? Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Glomer got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dor. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for the talent of tales, sadly. Come, come to my house. All the town's folks are turning into pigs. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and this is nothing but bad here. 
As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed. Yes, cursed. That is the right word, yes. Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest and in its heart is an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there is curse ordains that when the steeple bells rings, one of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us leave before you, too, get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped sh rock called a crystal star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittery red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? Unthinkable! Okay. You say that, but... Alright. Living in this dark place is so depressing, you know? I don't really care if I turn into a pig or not. Ouch. Look at all the piggies. Alright, we'll save. Not missing anything. For now, anyways. There's pumpkins! That I could take the oil lamp with me. Sadly, I cannot. Oh, this town is bigger. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig! My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. He got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a... Chernifilous pig. And now he really is a pig. But he has a sweet side, too, like cooking my favorite food. And when shoppers get rude, my husband escorts them. Alright, she's talking way too much. I can't read it. I can't keep up. <laughs> so, um, are you even listening? No, because you were talking way too fast. So, wait, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storeroom if it might help you. What's that? There's storerooms locked. Um, I must have... My husband must have taken the key with him and lost it in the woods. Alright, off to the woods we go. <laughs> Nasty monster lives in the woods past year. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. I still want to go through, even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. The old monster beyond the town gate thing. Isn't that kind of cliched? You gotta be kidding me? Fine, let's go ask. Find the mayor! Whoa, the bell rang! Does that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get pigged. Guessing the mayor is gonna be turned into a pig. Good, don't you think this pig is the mayor? 
What are we gonna do now? We needed that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Winky winky. Figured it was gonna be the mayor. Oh look. Gate guy's gone. Oops, nope, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig. Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get in our way. Opens ominously slowly. Ooh, hey. No. Oh. Thought there might have been something in the block. Mushroom. Dang it. Um, sure, they're the same as regular old Goombas. No, they're stronger. Mushroom can't carry any more items. Of course. Um use. We need more flower points anyway, so might as well use it. Okay. Haha. <laughs>
got a booze sheet. Temporarily makes a party member invisible, warding, warding against attacks. Cool. Um, we'll use a mushroom. On oh, kicker. Black it. Man, that one did a whole lap of the stage. We go. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here. No, seriously, just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. Wait, 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 wait,
Wait, wait, wait, wait, wait, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Ugh. No one's near this town somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty, please. Jam and jelly. Um, honey syrup. There we go. Let's go try to find a black key. Random pipe. I think I need kicker. No? I've been thinking lately if I'm gonna turn into a pig, I wanna be a big one. Cause what's the point of being a pipsqueak pig, right? Gotta embrace the pigginess. buy food for my children since my husband turned into a pig. Now they're also hungry. What should I do? Kind traveler. You have some spare food. Uh, I think. I don't know what food I got. Yeah, sure. Ooh, a shooting star badge. I couldn't use all 50 uh, flower points anyway, so it would have went to waste. Oh no. They're not even safe in their houses. And they turn into pigs. house again. Maybe. Give me like two seconds here. Ow. It's sitting weird. Here we go. And to fix the thing. There we go. Alright, no keys. Alright, let's check the end. It's about the only one that I haven't been in yet. Penguins! No. That's expensive.
I still don't know what the star pieces do. Fire flower. Of course, we have too much stuff happening. No, we can just toss the fire flower. Okay. I think I can survive without it. Maybe the crows are town folks too. Another star piece. Who would have thought? Oh, right, that's that one. We can't get into. I'm a novelist and I read several books a day. Not all pop-up books either. I wonder if pigs can read. I'm a bit concerned about it, to be honest. Can't find it. Oh, nope, did not work. Oh, I can push it. Can you get a bat? Black key. We found the key. Dang it, I didn't mean to pick that up. We'll use the mushroom on kicker. Wait, 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 wait. And then we open the chest and then we get to turn into a new thing because he's gonna curse us. This one better be useful. Pyramid table power, you will now you will know the pain of having your body roll up real small. Be cursed. Now you're cursed. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. You'll be forced to roll around as a tacky too. Pathetic misery thrills me to the core. When you're in that form, you you must roll everywhere, like some embarrassing extruded wheel. <laughs> Press B to revert to your normal self.
I understand. I want to leave that life mushroom there. You open the storeroom, I see. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. That's a good trade for the chance to get my husband back, I think. No sense in fretting, though. I should get the store ready for business. Sure wish I had my husband back in normal form to help me run the place, you know? Junk mail. Avoided. There we go. Oh, star piece. Let's try blowing it off, maybe? There we go. Ooh, star piece. Gotta love finding star pieces. Got it. flower points
Dang it. Couldn't block it. There we go. Ooh, halfway to another level up. Throw badge. Power is now boosted. I love that. Earthquake. Save block anytime soon. Don't know how to push it. Ah, okay. I figured it out. Flower points. Oh, Earth Tremor. Pushed it, didn't register. There we go. Flower's gonna run away, he's gonna charge up.
Maybe I should have kept that uh, jelly stuff. Let's try this. flower points to do this. And it didn't work. Ouch. Mushroom. Um, let's check out the badges. Um, let's equip that. Doop 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 doop. Don't have anything for um flower points. Which is annoying. There is a thingy over there that I wanna get. steeple thank you Steeple, sub level one. Shine Sprite. No. Didn't work. So annoying. Okay, so normal hammer does not work. Um, tactics swap to kicker. Ouch. 
What's with all the rocks? Go away. There we go. Oh, it took forever. I'm gonna go back up. Replenish my flower points. Got it. Didn't work, but Yay. I love baby Yoshi. Tornado jump badge. Dang it. We get rid of two of them at once. That didn't work. And that did. to get to the other side of this. Not to get hit by those things. <laughs> Alright, so we got a few things. Should have did that first, but you know. It's okay. What's with the extra save? Nothing wrong with an extra save, so. And then. This thing. There we go. Now we roll this way. And open the door. My friends have all been taken away, so lonely. Oh, 
My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. Flower saver badge. Yes, please. I'm actually gonna put that right now. Dang it, I don't have enough. What can I get rid of? Can't get rid of any at the moment because they're all useful. But I at least have it now, so next level up we'll go with flower points to upgrade. Well, we found all the friends. Quiz time, interloper. Just now when the box opened, how many of us booze came out total? 100? Too bad, foolish mortal. The correct answer was 200. But we'll send you home with this consolation prize. Should have said the more. Okay, so that's locked. And up we go. Are you going to be mean to me? No. Promise? Come on out, guys. It's a lot of booze. inside. Interloper returns. Want me to quiz you again? If you get all three of my questions right, I'll give you something good. Quiz me. First question. Which townsperson is guarding the way to Rogueport's east side? Garf? Got a cookbook. Ice smash badge may temporarily freeze and immobilize an enemy.
Then we open this door, check out this door. Yay, swoops. Gonna love those. There's a button. I didn't even hit you, lady. Dang it. I got hit by the swoop. Well, not really hit, but... Alrighty, let's see here. What do we got? Sure. That was easy. Just need two more. Two more points. That's all I need. Creepy Escape them. I don't know what that red button does. Red button, I think, moves the stairs. So I can still hit it. Or maybe I just didn't hit it first time. I could line up properly to the stairs. Let's 
Try not to fall off. And I fell off. Let's try that again. Yoshi makes me run faster, but I can't quite jump that <laughs> in time, so just go, 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 go. Try not to get hit by any booze. Steeple key. Safe block. Time we got. We got like 20 minutes. We'll see how far we get. And then up we go. What are you doing interrupting my me time? Come on, this guy is the monster the mayor was freaking out about. You can call him a monster. What's your problem? Why do you need to pick a fight? Well, alright then, slick fine. Yes, I turned the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal, you stink, mister. Why do you want to turn them into pigs anyway? Well... You know they're also depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured they might as well wallow in mud. Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do, so let's play slick. Fight time! Can't flee this fight. I guess I'll get down and dirty and if you're gonna play like that. I did not time that right. Under a group here, so you think you're a couple of he. Well, then, my dear friends, if you thought changing folks into pigs was impressive, then you're gonna love this. I've got something very special for you here. How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. How do you. F now you're fighting yourself. I'm a dang genius. Ouch. Apparently can't block against myself. <laughs> Dark minded, welcome in. How are you? I'm almost out of flower points.
How's your Wednesday going? Oh, dang it. I blocked too early. <laughs> My bad. What rooms do I get? Sure. Good so far, yours? Mine's alright. I mean, I've just been streaming for the past. How long now? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, almost three hours? And I haven't really started my day? <laughs> All good, though. You beat me? Yay, we win! And we get a level up. your first time with this game yes i like pre-ordered this back in march and then i got it um may 28th this is when i was able to actually pick it up and then yeah been laying since like the 29th <laughs> i didn't get to play the original like gamecube version so i'm like i need to get this one Mario defeated the scourge of creepy steeple and found the fourth crystal star. People of Twilight Town have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest to collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. Uh oh. What am I missing? What am I missing? With this back to creepy steeple, Mario sets out towards his bright future. That's it? That's all you got? Man, this guy was a wimp. That wasn't even fair. Well, who cares, right? We got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Oh no. hit the save block since we're here. <laughs> I did not expect that actually. Yeah, where do I find him? Do, 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 do. And furthermore, huh? your partners. Yeah, right? I lost my partners. I don't even know where I'm going right now. That's locked, so I need a key. I'm guessing. Can't believe I lost Yoshi. Yes, I have. Um. I did a whole, uh, like, starting off with Paper Mario N64, and then went to, um, which ones did I go after that one? Because I didn't have this one, so I couldn't, like, go to this one after the N64 one, because that would have been the next one in line. Um, but then I did, um... 
the other Paper Mario after the Thousand Year Door one. I can't fully remember. Um, I'm trying to think here. And then I also did Color Splash. Yes, yeah, Super Paper Mario. I don't know why I forgot about that. <laughs> that one's like my favorite one. I mean, so far. This one's pretty good, too. Where the frick do I go? So this should be interesting. How are you liking this one? I'm actually really liking this one. Um, I've only died like once or twice and it was during the last chapter really like during all like the fighting stuff did i go down here yet i feel like it did oh maybe i need to go down the well let's go outside because you may be quite familiar with the general fan reception later Paper Mario's have gotten. Yes! That one I'm- I mean I was kind of confused on how to get like the appreciation part of it for a bit. Yes this is time we take that Mario and get his map. The super bomb bomb here. There's no way we can fail. No not likely. If you can hand me that glorious super bomb bomb. Wait a minute, because these guys are gonna blow up who they think is Mario. I'm gonna still have the map. And they're not gonna get the map. Sadly, I don't have the star at the moment. Technically. Never, I never had it. You were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust me with it. Oh, you terrible liar. Stop making up stories to cover for yourself. If I don't have it, then obviously you must have it, and obviously you lost it. Or are you trying to imply that I lost it and you little lolly- Are you lolly- li Little lolly- Like gagging worm. My god. That was a tongue twister. Yeah, the partner in RPG structure is mostly- or abandoned in later games. Fans have not universally hated later games, but have been very loud about wanting them to return to this format. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the color splash one has was definitely different compared to like this one and Super Paper Mario, and even the 64 version. That one was like completely like left field <laughs> for like battle montaging. There's so much dialogue though. I skipped a lot of the Shadow Sisters. Dialogue, that's okay. Still can't get out that way. No, oh, I missed the save block. <laughs> missed it again. There we go. Trying to line it up it did not work. Let's pop down here real quick. Dang it. I didn't want to fight this guy. got a mystery. Kara with the hype. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> I blocked it. I was like half paying attention. Oh, 
I don't know what this mystery is. <laughs> that worked in my favor. On, push. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to be able to get through that. Hmm. Really? In the other Paper Mario, I could have just uh, turned to paper and it would have just passed through me. In Super Paper Mario. Oh wait, no oh, shit, that's the mask. Hit that a little too quick. <laughs> CP with the hype. Why is it only one? Fire flower. I'm still bad at using this ability, but you know. That's the furthest I get. really on that one. No oh, shit. My health is not looking the best. Sound good with the hype. I'll do Earth Tremor again. Not to run into anymore. Then up we go.
There we go. Dang it! I forgot about that. Fire flower. Dad was gonna work on the spiky rocks. But Ouch. And then it's gonna run away, and then that one. Oh, that one's not running away. Ha! <laughs> Fuck it. Take forever when I don't have Yoshi. There we go. Now we gotta go back to town, I'm guessing. <laughs> Got it. I blocked you early. Oh no, we're in danger. I was closer to a level up. <laughs> I just want to find a save block. Ok, 
Can y'all run away so I can just win? No! Yeah, yeah, win. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. I totally forgot he was after me. My bad. Uh, reading Twitch out to CP Trey. Once my page refreshes. So annoying. Let's so squeeze my butt through here and run away. Run away! Do 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 do. CP X Tray with some um, X Defiant. Do 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 do. Uh, through here, and then we'll hit that save block, and then we'll um, finish this. Well, I don't know about finish, finish, but like, finish out this chapter tomorrow. I'll be back on, yeah, tomorrow morning. I'll be streaming again. So everybody have fun, be safe, don't do anything stupid, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.